All right, you wouldn't have seen that. That looked actually really cool. We had this massive lot of rain come in. Uh, and e actually, if you look over there right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am out here in Cape Naturalist in the Southwest and I'm on the Cape to Cape Trail. Um, it's a pretty famous trail. If you haven't heard of it, it's pretty long. It's gonna be awesome like just to bring you along with me and got the views, the, the views, man. It's gonna rain a lot, um, but I'm actually pretty keen for that because rough weather means good views as well. So let's get into it. Let's start the walking. Hey guys, we've just um, just passed Sugarloaf Rock over there, and if you look way over there, hang on, let me zoom in a bit. That's the lighthouse that I came from. Good to see. Oh, these the tracks are so nice, and it's already rained a bit, but enjoying it, enjoying it. You know, it's nice to have a lot you along for the ride. Just please stop hiding in bushes and cabinets and stuff like. It's a little bit weird, like, I enjoy having you along, but if you're just gonna randomly show up and appear out of nowhere, then, I don't know, it's a bit strange. I'm enjoying the walk. I haven't had any more rain, which, I was, which is nice. Um, I'm hoping, actually, that if, if this wind drops off a bit, I might put the drone up. So, if it drops off, it'll probably go straight to the drone. If not, more walking. Yeah, you know that whole putting the drone up thing? Yeah, never mind that one. I'm just on a bench here, but if you look over there, that's rain. That's a lot of rain coming. And uh, it's getting windier and crazier. So, no drone yet. Maybe after that passes. All right, you wouldn't have seen that. That looked actually really cool. We had this massive lot of rain come in. Uh, and e actually, if you look over there right now, you can see there's a rainbow and the rain's pouring in and the waves are going crazy. And I know it's a little blown out for you, but man, I had like the rainbow like right up close, like over the top of the waves. And I got some sick photos. You know what, I'll actually, I'll. I'll throw a couple of the photos on the screen now. Just look how cool that is. Ah, oh, this is why I love being outdoors. This is why I love nature. And, oh my goodness, even if it's raining, things still look awesome. On a side note though, you know how like, on these, these have these wrist things? Like I'll undo it, hang on. It's like, they've got the strap there. But if I try to do it, I have, t I have tiny wrists, so hang on. I do it and then I get these fluffy bits because I have tiny wrists. It's kind of annoying. Come on, fix it. I just need like a little bit longer bit of Velcro on the bottom. Yeah. Hey, just took taking my backpack off, stuffing for lunch. Backpack's down there, the views are out there. I actually might get the drone up because it's looking pretty sunny in the horizon and I don't think it's going to get any better for, for the rest of the whole trip. So now's the best time I'm going to get. So let's go to the drone and then I'm going to have lunch. So.
well, how cool was that? Messed my hair up a little bit, but I mean, weather wasn't perfect for the drone, but it's still cool just to get some shots and see those crazy waves, even if we don't have all the colors. Um, very cool. I've got, got my, my backpack here. Just, I think it's in this one. Nope, that's not a sleeping bag, it's in the other one. Anyway, it's my lunch. Just gonna eat my lunch, and then we're gonna get up and get back on the road. Anyway, see you soon. Lunch is done. Now I've just got my Skittles to snack on as we keep walking. Oh man, I'm just loving the freedom of being able to do this by myself like you know as I said I haven't done anything like this so being able to do a long hike by my own and just have some peace and quiet especially when things have been so hectic and you know I've just been so busy so yeah really nice Ooh, if I don't fall over <laughs> Check in. We're about one kilometer away from the campsite. You can see the yelling ups just right over there. Um, but my campsite's before that. But oh man, these uh, shoulder bands are starting to get a bit sore. Hey. Well, this is it, guys. Campsite. Got some tables, and this is where I'm going to be setting up camp for today. And then I think walking straight back to my car tomorrow. Um, but where to put my tent? That's a very good question. <laughs> Oh hey, you want to see a room tour? My hotel for the night? Boom, this is it, the room. We've got the bags over here and the bed over here. Woo! <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying relaxing. All right, time to make dinner. I am hungry and it's gonna be good. Time. All done. It's good. If you've never heard of these before, I'm not sponsored, but backcountry, they do like freeze dried meals, and all you need to do is like boil some water and tip it in and like sit it for 10 minutes and then like you're done your meals cooked and they've got like such a massive range like this one's a, a cabanara and it's it's yum like it's good living for camping and not needing to cook you know just you just bring water and this that's it it's good okay i'm just laying down sun's about to set and I'm probably going to get a bit early tonight. Um, there's not going to be any cool sunrise, unfortunately, because it's going to be so cloudy and the rain's about to start. So I want to be packed up and warm and ready before the rain hits. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. Uh, I've just woken up just waking up. I wake up like a billion times, but you know, just waking up in the morning. And I'm probably just gonna lay like here for a bit more because it's warm. <laughs> in saying that, I wanna make coffee, so I might do that too. 
Ooh, time to get into the day. All right, I'm currently outside, which doesn't seem like the smartest choice, but it is a smart choice because outside has coffee and inside does not. So, yeah. <laughs> Man, like, even just like being able to just have my hands around the cup and get the warmth off it, that's just worth it all on its own. It rained so much last night. Well, it didn't rain. It was on and off. And, but the wind was just so bad. It woke me up constantly. And like the sound, like the trees, like the branches rub against each other and they like squeak. Ah, it was so bad. I woke up so much. <laughs> all right, so clearly I didn't have a very good sleep at all because if I grab this real quick, do you notice anything about this? My sleeping bag is inside out. It was not inside out when I went to bed. Somehow I had that bad of a sleep that my sleeping bag went inside out. What even? What even? Just packing up at the moment. Only got the tent to go. And then we're off. Woohoo! All right, we are ready to leave. But I forgot to show you something actually. When I was packing my backpack um, at the start of the, the trip, I actually snapped the whole like arm strap off. And if you look, if you look down there, right along here, yep, that's where I had to stitch. <laughs> I had to hand stitch it back on somewhere just so that I could actually use it. We're back on the road. What do you think about that one, Magpie? Nope, not about it. Cool, that's all right. I'm about it. Keen, keen, keen. I mean, right like here on both sides is so sore from just the backpack, but my excitement's helping me push through that to start off with, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> all right. Let's get serious. Walk time. Oh, I will say, the wind's definitely, the wind's definitely a bit more crazy. Oh, and it just, all the pain from my shoulders is back from yesterday. And so even holding the camera out hurts just a bit more. Also, I didn't say it before, but when I packed this backpack with all my stuff, I weighed it and it was about 17 kilos, which is a lot. <laughs> like this is a, what, like a 10K segment. It's a pretty short one, um, but with 17 kilos on it, makes it a bit harder. And yeah, you might be, some of you might be like, that's a lot of weight for how long you're doing it for. And I was like, yeah, but <laughs> a couple of kilos of that is just camera gear. so. You know, a couple of kilos of that is just so that you can watch this video right now, so... Woo! Well, if you needed some more proof that the weather was pretty crazy, the rain is literally horizontal. You probably can't see it, but it is actually horizontal and it's dripping all over my face. Thankfully, I have a rain jacket and my backpack has a rain jacket as well. But boy, time to put this back on okay now it's my least favorite part of the whole thing the beach hike woohoo walking on sand my favorite oh it just makes everything hurt so much more all right got a bit hungry so I've got some peanuts here but also right over there we have, uh, let me zoom in, no that's my neck, no, Jake move, Sugarloaf Rock, which now looks, there it is, wow that was some A grade camera work for me Jake, alright we're back, peanuts are gone, and we're here, 
at Sugarloaf Rock. Woohoo! Making some good time this morning. Only about three and a half, three Ks left. I don't know. It's something like that. Anyway, nearly there. All right, back on the actual path now. Not too far to go. All right, guys, that is it. I have made it back. Just gonna lay down here in the back of my car for a couple minutes and then I'll back up and leave, but that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this journey. Um, it's been nice just to have some time on my own. Um, plenty of more videos coming over the next few weeks, so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and uh, like if you haven't already. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your day. So long.